name is Arely Garcia. I am 28 years old and I am multiple subject credential candidate and part of the Coachella cohort. Um, when we when I think about academic and I think about diversity, I I think about myself. I think about my experience as a multilingual student, and I think about my journey as a multilingual student throughout the education system. And I can say that what it used to be back then to what it has now become, uh, they've come a long way. Um, I was given the opportunity to work with uh, multilingual students as a general instructional aide. And one of the things that I work with many of those students was that um, I work with high school students. And um, I really enjoyed working with them and I enjoyed um, just being able to provide that resources for them. Um, many of these students felt lost. Many of the students came from um, were first generation immigrants where they had families back home and they they wanted to continue going to school, but um, because of their circumstances, they had to make sacrifices. Um, once they turned 18, many of them ended up leaving and they ended up going back to school or some of them were working in the evenings as they were going to school. And that really impacted me, impacted the kind of teacher I would want to be, um, impacted that the, the classroom environment I wanted to create. Um, I think many of these students, when, when I first got there, before getting there, many of these students were failing um, because they didn't, they, one, they were scared. They were scared to this new environment that they were coming into. They didn't know what sources they could have or um how to communicate with the teacher. Um, and when I came in, um, just being able to work with them and being able to be a source for them um, an advocate for them, um, truly, truly motivated me to go to work every day. Uh, I built those relationships with those students and I, my priority was to make them feel like they had someone out here. So many of them were by themselves they they were alone you know they all their family was back home and they were staying with family members or acquaintances and that definitely made me want to be that person that can make them feel welcome and make them feel like they have someone that they can trust and they can count on uh and lean on um I definitely work with them and like building upon their knowledge and building upon what they already knew from back home and using those um, ways to associate the Spanish words into English and so that they can be able to catch on to the to the language and catch on to like what they're teaching in class uh, or understand what they're teaching in class and provide them with sources that they can use to be able to um, complete their assignments. Um, many of them were very amazed to see that they went from failing to like passing the class with an A and that really demonstrated to them that it wasn't because they didn't they weren't smart enough or anything like that but it was because they didn't have the right sources or the right support system and even though there's this inclus inclusion and integrated and emerging and um emerging ELD uh, standards into regular standards um there's still so much that needs to get done um and it's important to be able to understand the students, be able to build those relationships with the students, be able to understand the families, their background, where they're coming from, their situations, like for their academic success. Um, I did got I was given the chance to communicate many of these things to to many of the teachers that I was working alongside with, and that helped them understand why the students um were struggling and and or be more understanding or more flexible or making accommodations for them and i think that's something that it's very important to have in a classroom and have in like with with amongst others and i'm really excited to be able to come in in the classroom and provide that 
I would love to work with multilingual students because I myself used to be one and I've already worked with them and just be able to be that support for them. Uh, I thank you for your time and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.